wanted to you wanted uh, to take your questions and oh wait. Oh. <laughs> Do you remember this intro? Do you guys have any questions about the slideshow? Yeah. Anything like? Do you have any questions about, about Ivy or Jessica or Monica? <laughs> okay, we'll start this off slow. What is your favorite pizza topping? Shit. I mean, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she likes to show the pizzas. Barbecue sauce, which I get pineapple. Yeah, for life. Ivy, your favorite pizza topping? Mushrooms. Oh, sure, sure. Yeah. Does anyone have any questions? Raise thine hand. Yes, sir. Uh, I'm going to quote your, your Facebook page. Uh -oh. Am I going to punch you in the butt? Exactly. <laughs> 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 you should definitely tell me that. <laughs> <laughs> punch hard. Punch hard? Right, right? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I think she didn't have her claws on. Yeah, yeah. Right. Oh. 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 That's I'll do it where again? We, that's where we get the pizza. <laughs> that's where we get the pizza. <laughs> <laughs> From his butt. Yes, anyone else? Hello. Any costume construction? Yes, I see you. What, what was the name of the seamless tight? Oh, yeah. uh, no nonsense. There should be like, I think you can get a pack of three for like 12 bucks. Now they're really cheap, so they're not going to last you like an insanely long time, but you can probably get like four wares out of them. That's Double pretty them. good. Yeah. Victoria's Double. Secret also has those brands Ooh. of uh, holding things in. Whatever those things are, spanks. Yeah. Holding yeah. spanks. Yes. Um, where do you guys normally get your cosplay shoes, like boots and heels? And China. I, yeah. China. I have. I have. Okay. I have bizarrely small feet. I'm a four and a half. Oh. What the fuck? Five. <laughs> She's like a porcelain doll. I'm like, like these are big right now. She wants to dis. Oh, oh. Tiny, 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 tiny. So my toe is actually foot like foot fetish. Your <laughs> foot is as big it's as It's the length head. of your forearm. Don't you know that? From here to here is the length of your foot. I thought that was your dick. Have <laughs> <laughs> you checked recently? <laughs> yeah, no, it is. Nope. Um, it's all too much. Sorry, children. For me, it's it's eBay or there's a, a brand of shoe shop in the Georgia area called the uh, Shoeland. Oh, Shoeland. <laughs> Shoeland or Shmooland? Shoeland. Shoeland. Oh. Shoeland. Also, the Goodwill has a lot of the Goodwill has a lot of good stuff. I, that's where I bought my boots, and then I just kind of like added stuff to them and stuff. It's actually good to buy used shoes from Goodwill or eBay because they're already worn in by people. Yeah. yeah. Um, so you will be less uncomfortable because you have someone else's crusty shoes. Yeah. Okay. Anyone else? Yes, sir. What is currently your favorite TV show at the moment? Dexter. Yeah. Yeah. Don't you Don't dare say I'm on seasons. Season Episode you mean, are, you, are you saying like what we're currently watching or like forever? Oh, forever. forever. You're currently watching Dexter. Uh, forever Sherlock. Yeah, Sherlock. Sure. That's Avatar Last Airbender. Yes, it always counts. Yeah, that's right. Was it Avatar Last Airbender? What? Avatar Last Airbender. Oh, yeah. It always counts. That's good. Currently watching House because I'm running out of shows to watch. But favorite show is Battlestar Galactica. Oh. The reboot, though. Okay. No, I don't know. Park, Parks and Rec, 30 Rock. Yeah. Oh, Parks and Rec so yeah. oh, I have so many yeah. shows, guys. Community. I'm so sad. I don't actually have to say a movie. A single tear. A single tear. Hello. Hi. How do you guys, like, you know how sometimes you can get shiny or if you're wearing, like, a lot of velvet, you can get a little right warm? Now. Yeah. How do you guys Moist. cool down and, like, re fix the makeup or keep it from, you know? Um, have you seen those little, seal? The blue, this blue little, oh like, oil? Um, oil paper, oil, oil you blots. can get like a little oil blotting thing. Yeah, I think, there's like, like a book. Yeah, yeah. You just, yeah, 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 or you could like use the final seal. Yeah, which is what Monica Well, uses. to hold your makeup in, they have it has it's like matte finish uh, like seal spray, and so I think NYX has a good brand, but I use Ben Nye. Yeah, it's just, just yeah. holds it all up. Makeup forever. Final seal. I'm writing it yeah. down. I'm writing it down. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm saying it for you. Well, I'm writing it occasionally throughout the day to to absorb. Yeah, I just pile it on. By the end of the day, I'm like, whoa. It's like excavating to my to my regular skin. <laughs> We've got to get back to and, uh, our face. Right. The chisel. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean the great thing about Final Seal, what she uses is if you're doing body paint, because we were talking about that yeah. earlier. What you want to do is you want to put Final Seal on your skin or barrier spray, yeah. mm. and then body paint over that, and then Final Seal it again. Because uh, putting the Final Seal before everything else will make it easier to get off your body when you wash it. Mm -hmm. Actually, that's a follow up. How do you guys keep your normal skin? Healthy and not gross. Um, I use uh, oil of the lamp and then uh, bio oil. I just 
Bio, bio, bio oil. Shower, it's, right? It's shower. It's like oil. It's like, it's like really I, I think it's really it depends on each person's skin individually. Yeah. Because for me, um, I get a lot of angry people on my page when you say like, angry acne. Well, no, no, no. Well, no, 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 no. I usually go to sleep with my makeup because I'm too lazy to take it off at night. Um, and don't do that, kids. Yeah, a lot of people say this. No, no, no. But I don't break out. I yeah. don't break out mm -hmm. at all. Uh, so so just be more beautiful than your file? Yeah. <laughs> um, I do. Um, I do. But what I do when, when I, I take my makeup off in the shower and I use um, what's that? Uh, Pure Purity. And they sell it over at uh, Sephora. That stuff gets rid of all your makeup. Yeah. It's awesome. Baby oil is actually really good for taking off makeup. So baby if you're cheap, oil. you can smell like a baby's butt. Use a good as Clean baby's butt. <laughs> is that where the pizza comes from? Yeah. <laughs> Any other questions? <laughs> wah, wah. Dresses off. Favorite food. Favorite food. Oh. Burritos! Anything in a puff pastry. Yeah. Potatoes. Yeah. Potatoes made in any way. Yeah. It depends on my mood, though. Like a lobster bisque. Oh, oh I love soup. Tonight? Yeah. Soup oysters. <gasps> Fried oysters! Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Next uh, question. <laughs> question over your left. That we have done or want to do? We can do both. I mean, you start. Samus and her variety suit is with fully like LEDs and everything. That's what I want to do very, very, very badly. Oh, wait. Is there like, a unit here? Mm -hmm. You can pull it up. Yeah. yeah. Um, you guys know that, right? And they want the arm cannon to like the flower that's like so open up. Oh, sick. Yeah. Will I do it? I don't know. Probably not for another couple of years. It's going to take time. I just, it, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll be venturing into stuff I've never done before. Uh, I guess that's like Jane. Uh, I really want to do Kerrigan from StarCraft 2 and her Queen of Blades thing, but it's probably never going to happen. I'll be your Hydralis! Yeah, that's great, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. yeah, so if that ever happens. Um, and then besides that, I want to do uh, Fran from Final Fantasy 12, but that's also kind of hard. Hey, they just released a new figure. Did they? A friend? Yeah. No. Yeah. Look up now. Oh, yes. Um, yeah, no, I want to do an ultra list or a high list from StarCraft because that would be sick. And it would be a giant monster and I could be her, her baby. It would be awesome. Oh, it's so, so weird. What are we doing here? <laughs> Dude, a high uh, list is sick. Like, except I'm trying to cut like a hole right here. Oh, they're fighting. Ricky is the wrong panel for that. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. These are her squirrels. Ricky rehabilitates and releases squirrels. She's Snow White. I yeah. know. <laughs> Sorry, that's pretty much I only have squirrel photos. Only. I only have squirrel photos. So, so what, what about you? you? Uh, dream costume. I'm going to date myself here. Who knows Bogum Crisis? <laughs> Prisus yeah. Hard Suit. Wanted to do that for like, since I started cosplaying and uh, the feet. And I don't want to do like a direct translation. I just don't want to take like what they did with Iron Man and like make it like very real world. But it involves like taking new body cast, and I would like to, if possible, 3D scan myself, and then somehow be able to build it, and then output it, and then finesse it in the real world. But you know, it's it's one of those things where it's that would be the only costume I would do for a whole year because it would just be so intensive. So mm -hmm. that is a dream costume yeah. forever. Yes, I saw you put your hand up first. One and okay. Oh. Wait. Oh. What? I love it. Future of cosplay. Future of cosplay. If you could afford it, I think it's a great idea, but there is a great amount of finishing that has to go into it. Uh, so when it's done, like, you can't just 3D print a costume well, and be done with it, you know? The problem cool. with, with 3D printing, or printing anything in 3D, is if you build it, half of it, and then you flip it, it's perfectly symmetrical, yeah. and the human eye is not used to seeing something. Like, Darth Vader's helmet is not perfectly symmetrical. You are not perfectly symmetrical. So, you, yeah, you will look at it, and even though it's, it's right, your mind will be like, something is wrong, because it's perfectly symmetrical. So, like she said, you do need to kind of, like, finesse it. Like, um, the one thing, sorry, this is going to sound like a hair flip moment. Um, I got to go to a, a Hollywood costume designer's place, and he was the one who did, like, the Tron helmets for or the Daft Punk helmets for Tron. Nice. And they built them in 3D, and then they outputted them, and then he actually like added some flaws because it looked too perfect, and the eye, the eye was like distracted by it, so. But yeah, if I could 3D print them. Do you know you can see their faces now? 
Really? Yeah, they, oh, uh, they got caught in TSA oh. in uh, LA and uh, they made them take off their helmets. They're just walking through TSA with their yeah, helmets Yeah, with their helmets on. <laughs> so long story us. short, it can be cool, but it can be expensive if you don't have your own maker bot or what have you. Yeah, what's really lucky though is anyone who's local to here, I uh, just discovered you guys have something called the Tech Shop. And it's like a, a maker do-it-yourself workshop that has all these like laser cutters and industrial sewing machines and like all electronics set up for you. And you can go and rent them for the day and take classes and they will teach you. So you don't actually have to even buy the equipment, but the equipment's there for you to use. And we don't even have something like that in Atlanta. And I would love to be able to be like, okay, I don't need a laser cutter, but when I do, I have to go hit up Monica and she has to go sneak into Georgia Tech and laser cut something for me. <laughs> And then burn the plastic, and then, huh? <laughs> How is it? Hey, it doesn't pay attention. So, yeah. So the tech shop. If you're local, look up tech shop. I mean, it is such a valuable asset. I mean, or if you have a friend that goes to a school that has a nice shop, yeah. and they have things there, and you can sneak in and be like, yeah, it's for my school project. Mm. Not really. And everybody else, I've got Yes, one okay. Uh, how'd you get into scroll rehabilitation? Uh, squirrel fell out of the sky. <laughs> Into my, Into my, uh, my boss uh, found a squirrel in his yard, and uh, they knew how much I loved squirrels, and I didn't know what I was doing, and then I thought I had killed it. I don't know how anything yeah. survives in the <laughs> wild, because they are so particular. I have to feed them. They're falling like at a certain temperature every couple hours based on their weight, and it's like... I, after I took care of one for like a week, I called my mom and I was like, Mom, I'm so sorry. I know how much work you put into me. Because <laughs> you like, you feed them and you, it's like with any animal, you take care of them and then they do something stupid and you're like, I had to pull like eight old nighters to take care of you. Now you're doing something dumb. So now I understand why moms and dads get upset at their teenagers for doing stupid stuff. Like Story of my life. Squirrels. <laughs> Alright, Supergirl shirt? Super yeah, shirt. Sure. Yeah, uh, how many, like, typically average, how many cosplays do you make in a year? Ooh. Well, let's start down the line. Ivy, how many oh. costumes do you make a year? Can I start counting now? Last year, I think I did anywhere between 12 and 14. Goodness. What? Yeah, this year it's going to be a lot slower than that, though, because... Well, you're I, like crazy stuff, busy. Yeah, that and the stuff I want to do is really involved, and I just I really want to take a lot of time with some of the ones that I'll be doing this year. So, I think it varies. Yeah, um, I'm trying to count right now, and I can't remember. Um, I'd say less than 10. Yeah. Question mark? I don't know. <laughs> it depends whether or not I want to destroy your childhood with sexy Pokemon, so. <laughs> you did like four in one week. Yeah, I did. I was like, I'm just going to go. I roll, man. I was like, Charizard. Mask toys. I am so jealous because I see these guys like just knock out costumes, and I'm sitting there, I'm like, five mock ups later. I'm like, Rah! Yeah, no, no patience. I'm doing yeah. Magikarp and Mudkip and oh, Mudkip. Gyarados and like all. And I'm gonna do the Helix Fossil! Yeah! <laughs> did, anyone, did you guys watch Twitch Plays before? Yeah. yeah! Good. Okay, good. Thank you. Sorry. No, I was like. I like. I, I think what's cool is like I look at other cosplayers' costumes and they interest me into like finding out more about like where it's from. Mm -hmm. So I was like, what is this Pokemon? What?! <laughs> Are you sure? Like, Right here. Oh my god, my heart! <laughs> we ceremoniously burn them. I always find it funny people ask that question because it's like they go in a closet or yeah. in an area. Like, where else are they going to go? I have a shrine well, myself. No, some. <laughs> like, hey Arnold. Rose. Like, I'm a so, well, sometimes you have to like get rid of like really, really old ones just no. because you know it's. You know you're not gonna wear them. Yeah, you're not gonna wear anything. No. You know? I don't even want anybody to see my shame. I've seen I've shame. shame. Ricky has like four stories of like a, some weird like, metal business shelf of stuff. Is insane. insane. <laughs> the wind in your business. Jessica, <laughs> I am curious though. How how many people have asked to buy your costume and sniff them? So, so this guy. <laughs> okay, no, Jessica story time. Goes, you know you're pink. He's like, oh, yeah. He's like, I think I'm about your size. Would you sell your costume? Yeah. And I was like, how much? He's like, five thousand. I was like, fuck yeah. <laughs> but then, no, I was, I was like, just kidding, man. I, I'm not gonna. Yeah, they cost me like five. But no, I didn't. He was just relentlessly wanting to purchase this uh, tight latex pink suit to wear himself. He's like, can we Skype and all? He's like sitting in the living room. Uh, <laughs> Puts 
slow motion on the cosplay. Yeah. Jeez. <laughs> it puts a move on the latex. <laughs> but yeah, no, yeah, people, sometimes, sometimes people will ask me, like, for commissions, and then that's when I'm, like, pointing them to the real people who make costumes, like, yes. hey, you don't want to wear my shit, go over there. Real people, because you're fake. Hey, you're going to commission a master, like, a set of Master Chief armor, and you're going to get a big boob hole in the middle. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. Yeah, Master Chief was a chick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Question? Another question. I'll let you choose, Jess. I already chose. Go ahead. Four. Back here. Nine. Love. Yeah. Yeah, here's anime music. Hi. Um, how about your costume that involves metal? What's the best that's really used? Are you going to do Magneto with metal? Yeah? Or look at Ricky. She knows. Um, but are, do you want to use real metal or do you want to use like metal composite? Okay, uh, what you're going to have to do then is uh, you're going to have to sculpt it and mold it. And then what you want to do is once you have your mold, you're going to buy uh, metal powder and you get that like complete sculptor. And then what I often do is I will powder the mold with the metal powder and then and then what you're going to do is when you put your resin in, you're going to also put metal powder in there. But what that will do is... It kind of makes like a coating for it. Yeah, it basically... Sorry, I'm trying so to... So this is if you want to go the sculpting and casting route. If is this you want to paint anything else, they have, you know, like sorry. metallic spray paint or like metal yeah. and spray paint. So you can kind of But the nice... Make it look okay, metal. like for example... Sorry, this is just the easiest one. So we did this for uh, uh, Fun Your Die. Or something, and basically all the pieces oh, are big sister. It, are uh, metal composites. So the nice thing is about using this sorry, it's really low-res photo. There's somebody actually in here. Is you can see it's actually rust. So it actually patinas, and patina is that term like you know when you look at like a sculpture and it's got like rust or it looks black or it's like it's like aging. Um, it actually patinas like real metal. So you can make your own patina and like rust it out, or all you have to do is take an SOS pad once you get your cast out, and the metal will just totally come through. So it's you'll get the lightness of fiberglass with resin, but you'll get the awesome look of metal. So it's it's really an expensive way. That's a, a lot of art. Like I do a lot of fine art casting, and that's the cheap way rather than going to a foundry and having it poured up. You can just get, do a, a, you can even do a urethane mold, silicone mold, just powder the mold, and yeah. call it a day. Sorry, long answer. Ricky, your neck is as big as my forearm. <laughs> or my <laughs> bicep. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! That's crazy. You're a little freak. Hey. <laughs> Sorry. Next special. question? Yeah. That's, that's because I'm people in the back. Now we have a mic or something, so... Yeah, yeah. Okay, Martin, take a mic away from Martin. This is all over. <laughs> That's a little tiny. Martin, you two people. Any people in the back section? So, you know, I mean, I'll get back to the front pretty quick. Yeah, that's right over here. So, you know, I don't want to scream. You're gonna run. His hair's so flowy. Ramona Flowers! Hi. Um, what kind of tips do you have for holding things in and padding for a really low cut costume like Dr. Mrs. the Monarch? Oh, Ricky, Ricky. So that's a tip. Ricky said he's that costume, so. Okay. So perfect. This is Ricky. Yeah, this is me. These are photos. <laughs> this is me. <laughs> I'm trying to find my There you go. Uh, what I did with this one was there's actually a um, plastic torso sandwiched in between two pieces of fabric. So in this case, it was a mannequin torso. I, it was a little tight, but I put it on, then I cut it out the way I want it, and then I put it between the two pieces of fabric, kind of like a pillowcase, and then a heck of a lot of top stick. So you can. So do she it. she created it's like, like a plastic shell. Like a yeah, it's a plastic shell. shell. I don't really have a, yeah. a good picture of it, but th this way I didn't need any plastic. Uh, mm -hmm. You can get like c uh, clear bra straps. That was kind of yeah, tape. Yeah. There is tape along the the ridges as well because you just want to be careful. And ladies, if you do wear anything that does have kind of your boobs almost kind of out, I highly recommend pasties just because just you can, in case. Just I mean. Yeah. She's got crocodile ones on right now. Yeah. I don't have real nipples. Yeah, I know. I don't judge. They cut them off. <laughs> but that's, that's the best thing. Uh, plastic torsos or like you can or use... Or you can do boning, I think. Yeah. yeah. Or even you can use just like clear vinyl. If you want to do something really crazy, you could have some clear vinyl in there. 
Well, I know oh, for like yeah. some people who do like a gutter yuna, instead of mm -hmm. actually having it open, they'll do flesh toned, uh, like a flap, I guess, that like, yeah. blends in. Yeah. So you're not actually showing it, but it looks like there's that oh. cut. So yeah. if you're more conservative, that could be a route to go. If you if you don't have like the big plastic thing though, you can we could just you could take a bra and you can cut the like um, this part of the bra, like the underwire. Out. Yeah, so the underwire and everything, and then you can sew your own clear plastic strap across if you're like if you can't do like the cool like body holder thing with you so that's what I did you can't see it here but there is actually like she was talking about if from here to here there is a flesh nylon that holds the fabric together at the bottom but then I just cut it off right before my boobs so it looks like I'm not wearing anything but oh. actually wearing so you get the the reveal of the cleavage not being clouded by the fabric but you still get it holding together at the bottom so well, they actually have a uh, deep oh, plunge sense. bras. I actually bought actually one, crazy. and it's pretty much for you know if you have those like plunging V yes. lines or neck lines, and it's just like a really deep underwire and like a kind of overarching boob cup. Yeah. All right. Next question. Where's Martin with the microphone? Did he quit? No, he's right there. Good. Um. Hi. So kind of a similar question. Do you guys have any good tricks for strapless costumes while keeping things where you want them to be for specific characters, other than just adding straps? Uh, That's where corsets come yeah, in corsets pretty well. Or clear straps are really good. You can buy them at Joanna's and then you can just like make your own little like yeah. bra hoops and that's usually what I do for strap and stuff. Yeah, I mean, because it, it would be good to have something that's bone, so like uh, Jill Valentine from Resident Evil 2 or 3, she has like that little blue top blue. and yeah. it's actually uh, bone so that it kind of holds everything up and nothing sinks. <laughs> that's what they do, they sink. Yeah. I mean like a corset with boob cups would kind of hold everything up. Mm -hmm. Or you can always, I guess, build the, the cups into whatever top you're doing, kind of hold it all in, and the tighter the better. Yeah, that is a tough one. I mean, a lot, I mean, I always, like, dread when costumes are, like, strapless. You can't hide the strap. You can't do anything with the strap. Mm -hmm. Bigger the better the tighter the sweater the boys depend Martin, next question. <laughs> Hi. Uh, what cosplay are you guys looking forward to the most that you're working on? Gentleman Chogas from League of Legends. Yeah. 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 You're going to wear your link with me. Up you go. What? You're not going to finish it? You've been working on it for a while. Don't judge me. I don't know. Yeah. I, well, I, I, finished, I finished Janna, um, and then I'm also working on Dark Flame Shivana, but Gentleman Chogas is going to be so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Those are some of the best costumes. You want to play League of Legends? Woo! Yeah. I saw one of them up. Good. Uh, I'm working on a Gunner Yuna. It's been like one of my dream costumes since I started cosplaying, but it's kind of a bitch to sew. So who knows when that'll happen? Ricky, what are you working on? Squirrel Girl. <laughs> huh? For the calendar. Yeah. Tell so Ricky is working on a, a charity calendar that we're uh, that we're doing, and it's cosplay for a cause. Cosplay yeah. for a cause. A cosplay for a cause. Sorry, I don't. I know I've been talking I have a lot. It's an obligatory plug. It's basically uh, when the Japanese tsunami hit a few years ago. Just because Japan's been such an inspirational part of my life, I really wanted to do something. So I contacted cosplayers all over the world. We made a calendar. We raised thirty thousand dollars for the Japanese Red Cross. Donated one hundred percent of the proceeds. And I've done like uh, consecutive projects since then. I was uh, actually all three of them were part of a, a Red Cross project. It was like pin up first responders, and then um, right now though I'm working on a calendar with the squirrel rescue and a big advocate of animal rescue. Um, we're doing a calendar that's superheroes with animals. So all of our superheroes, men and women, take pictures with the animals, and 100% of the proceeds are going to the Wildlife Conservation Society. So we have like an artist. You guys watch X Men Evolution? Yeah. Did you watch it? The guy who did the character designs is doing some artwork in it of, of the character. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so and we have a bunch of other artists in there and like really great photography and all the girls donated their time and so hopefully that'll be happening. I'll probably be announcing it fairly shortly, like pre-orders. So I hope you guys so can check it out. Yeah. It's like 17 months of. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. So it's DC, Marvel, everything like that. Yes. He can't stop here. This is backcountry. This <laughs> guy. <laughs> what are you doing? No, I, yeah, so. Thank Martin. you. Martin, next question. Where are you? <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Okay. My wife just ended. Put your hands up. You, go ahead. Uh, Jessica. 
What's up, Ashitaka? Hi, will you be ever doing a costume of your character Cinder from Ruby? I actually really want to. Because it's so much fun. <laughs> Being Cinder. <laughs> I, I do uh, voice acting for uh, Rooster Teeth. Uh, they've got a new show coming out, well, that's been out, uh, called Ruby. And I am a bad person, and it's really sad because I kill a lot of people. Oh, wow. Monty was telling me, he goes, Do you, so, so, so Cinder's going to be going in this direction. You know, she's quite conflicted, and she, um, she takes out this person, this person, this person. I don't want to be this person anymore. <laughs> I don't want to kill people. But yeah, yeah, I will cosplay Cinder eventually. Wait, Martin's not doing his job. Martin's guys. Oh, no, Martin's uh, sorry. Go We're revoking universe. your microphone. Put it down. Oh, gosh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> What's the most expensive costume each of you've done? Five hundred dollars on honest drop of gift uh, wall. I was gonna say which one was it? Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh. I try not to keep count because the sad reality of how much I spend on my costumes I think would kill me. So I'm like receipt. <laughs> I throw it away. But you gotta keep them because it's a write off. <laughs> I don't think, expense. I don't want a real business expense. Yeah. Yeah. This one. Huh? Um, the chroming process was four hundred and fifty dollars alone. So I did all the sculpting, all the casting, and then I had to send it away to be chromed, and it was yeah four fifty, which was a lot cheaper than the car company wanted to charge me eight hundred. So um, and it's weird, yeah, it's weird because like you think about it, when you make the costumes, you're not even taking into account like time. Yeah, like labor hours. Like if you if Jessica's charging, you know, twenty dollars an hour to work on her costumes, and she spends, you know, thirty hours, then she doesn't take into account that time. Well, that's why when you commission things, it's not just cost of materials, but it's labor costs because it's the person actually sitting there working on it. Yeah. So that's why it seems like it would be more expensive than it is just making yourself. Yeah. What's your Ivy? So Wonder like Woman. Uh, I love that costume. I think that's one of my favorite of yours. Yeah. It's quite lovely. Oh, it's, oh, thank you. Um, that one, I, I went ahead and I had the armor commission for that one uh, from a metalsmith friend. Anyone here watch Man at Arms? Yeah. All right, that guy, Tony. Uh, so he did my armor and I think added up between the yarn, I think it was like $1,500. Well, just in armor. Not counting, you know, of course, that I wanted my boots to be leather and then I modified those. Uh, yeah. So essentially, lots of money. Yeah, like over two grand on that, but that was over a very long period of time. I, I would buy, like, I got the tiara and the bracers first, you know, then I went and I got this other thing. So, if you're thinking about going the route of commission, or if you're making something, just in, in the amount, don't think about the final dollar amount, just do it in little increments, and then that way. It's something that is reachable because if I would have looked at that price tag initially, they're like, oh, I'm never going to go. It's like a car payment. Exactly. Right. All right, Martin. I love all your questions. You can do it. You can do it. If she, she doesn't, doesn't want to use the mic, she doesn't have to use the mic for That's right. Don't even pressure her with your mic. <laughs> Fine. Okay. Yes? So I actually had a two for one special, if that's okay. Yeah. Sure, yeah. Two for all. right. First question. Would you wear a corset on a daily basis? And secondly, how would you choose which characters you wanted to cosplay? Uh, I wouldn't because I have no patience for being uncomfortable, so I sometimes <laughs> sacrifice what will look good for what I'm comfortable with. I can answer um, this one. I mean, I could, yeah, you can try. I can answer this one. Yes. Oh, Tiny, yeah. I throw it. <laughs> I corset train, meaning I wear mine about 22 hours a day. Wait, you wear it when you sleep? Yeah. What? Oh. Yeah. Why? Because she course the trains. I course the trains. What about when you're like trying to get into the the, the four position? position? You know when your legs are like. You know? Oh, I see. You're I mean, talking about like the ball. Yeah, fetal. the ball, fetal, fetal four position. Oh yeah, that's the fetal four. We have the fetal four. Um, I did extensive research on it, and for me, it was more of a body modification thing that I wanted to do. Okay. Um, so I, I wear it daily and it's just one of those things that after time your body does actually change. Mm -hmm. Does it really? Yeah, yeah. like you can take so the, the organs in your body your will retain that shape more or less. Well, like, plus or minus like an inch or two. Back in yeah. the ever century. Um, I thought they took their ribs out though. The ideal woman. But, you know, yeah, I mean, touch they, fingers, they've been doing it since the Victorian era and why we should think before then, but 
it, it's, it's something that I would suggest if you're going to go into corset training and aware it for an extensive period of time, definitely do your research. Yeah, be careful. There's pros and cons. Um, definitely your, um, your core will get uh, very sure. weak, so you have to do core exercises. Uh, because you're, think about your, your spinal cords being supported by that corset now. All, anything that your core would handle is just letting go of that, of, um, your muscles aren't supporting you anymore. It's just a corset, so you have to make sure that you're working so out okay. and keeping that up because That's if you okay. don't, it's not yeah. good for you. Um, so yeah, I mean, the results can be... I wouldn't say permanent because it, it is one of those things that like if you mm -hmm. stop wearing it for an extended period of time, your body will revert back. So those two hours, those two hours that you don't wear each day, is that like when you pee and yeah. like if you shower, shower, like shower oh, working out? I have a question. Yes. Okay. Because uh, I'm actually like sincerely curious about this. Do you work out with the corset on? No. Okay. That's what I'm trying to Working out I don't and showering I don't. You should get a bit of water, like, of course. It's a bunch right. of different courses. No. Um, no. You want to cycle through them, you don't want to wear the same model. I feel like that. <laughs> um, okay. What's the second part of the question? Yeah, do, do, we, do we answer both of them? Both of them? Only yeah. one. The second one is how do you choose which characters you oh. wanted to cosplay? Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, I'll yeah. ask you questions later because I'm actually curious. <laughs> I always, whoa. I always cosplay like what I know and like what I love. So, like League of Legends or Gears of War, Pokemon or anything. So, okay. it's usually just. If I'm like, I like that, I'm gonna cosplay that. It doesn't really matter if it's a boy or a girl, like Assassin's Creed stuff. Like, I'm in love with cosplaying Assassin's Creed stuff. Hi, Stone Jesus. Yes. <laughs> like, it's just so fun taking such a powerful character and making it female and being like, bam. Because well, sometimes there are thing, there are series that are you know all female or all male, and you still want to cross no, it because you like it so much. But even if they are like, even if there are female characters, I'm like, no, I don't want to cross them. You do what you want at the end of the day, right? Because yeah. yeah, so we're gonna tell you what to do. Cartman dressed as the coon. <laughs> so <laughs> as evident by what the hell I'm cosplaying right now. Um, the coon. I guess just whatever I'm a fan of at the time. So whatever TV show I'm watching or whatever video game I'm playing, I'll be like really into it, and it helps motivate me to finish the costume. Yeah. Uh, what are you looking right now? Oh, so, so, you know, I was making the coon and I was watching South Park and that helped motivate me because it was so dumb. <laughs> yeah, pretty much it, what they said, you know, whatever inspires you. Uh, I typically make a list of all different characters that I want to do. And I, you know, keep an eye on how much time I have before a con and then figure out if it's sufficient time to make something, you know, off of my list. Realistic um, on your time limits. I have, though, halfway through making something, decided that I actually didn't love it as much as I thought I did. Aww. And I like, yeah. abandoned that project. Oh, uh, that's and like the worst. Yeah. <laughs> the great part of costumes. Yeah, I felt really bad about that. Which but costume was it? Sophie Tia. Oh, oh, come on! You have to finish that I'm one. Sorry! So finish it! So I'm, I'm doing Sophie Tia so, too! Yeah. I'm doing Sierra. So, so I heard it's Sophie Tia. And I was like, I said no. Sophie Tia, but apparently it's Sophie Tia. Sophie Tia? Sophie Tia. In the Japanese version, they say Sophie Tia. <laughs> so it's Sophie Tia. 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 I'll be, I'll be another yeah, I'm just saying, Soul Calibur News. <laughs> okay, next big wow. Oh, I think we have next big wow. how many questions left. We, we have about seven minutes, or about two more questions. No, we can go longer. We're making this we panel right. right. fire. Right. Who wants this panel to be longer? Yeah. 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 Oh, not a lot of space. Do not like enable that. them. Do not. <laughs> Take away that microphone. I know. <laughs> okay, so I have uh, we don't know one off topic, one on topic question. Yes. yes. For our off topic, what's your favorite uh, Street Fighter character? Chun Li. Yeah, I was gonna say Chun Li. I like Kirsten Viper. She just looks so badass. She is a good. Character. I played Street Fighter Turbo, like on the Super NES. Yeah. She was like the only one. <laughs> female, and I just get him in the corner and be like, <laughs> she's so cute and too. Yeah. All right, what's the next question? Um, yeah. Wait, they didn't answer. Your favorite? Oh, Chun Li and M Bison. Oh yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. Where is M Bison from? from? Sorry. Sorry? He's from Thailand? I heard that he's from, like, Russia. No. I had this hardcore, at EVO, I had this hardcore fighting game, like, tournament group of people, like, Gutex and, like, um, Brian, what's his last name? I don't know. But they were, they were debating, saying that his, he was actually from, like, Russia. 
Thailand. Yeah, I thought he was from Thailand too. I was like, oh, he's from Thailand. And someone said, no, he's from Russia. And I'm like, how the hell do you know that? And so, yeah, Google it. Because his actual origin isn't, like, they, if you look online on Wikipedia, it doesn't show his origin. I think it's unknown. It's like origin is unknown. But his stage is Thailand. Sorry, lightning round, my bad. Uh, for the on topic, I would um, if you're wearing like military boots, because for some of the costumes I do, I wear them and they end up getting smelly. Is there a way to avoid that? Uh, like baby some. powder or no one knows about smelly shoes. It's just gonna be great. Yeah, that's true. Also, you can use a product called Endback, E N D B A C, and you can only use that for a short amount of time. Also, for costume cleaning. Uh, use 50% vodka, 50% water, and spray your costume, and that kills the bacteria. So you can try hosing that into your shoe, and then drink the rest of the vodka. <laughs> <laughs> so that looks up here. So smelly feet, go. I don't know. I just deal with it. I, I trap it. <laughs> Suck it up. And then when I get old, I release it. <laughs> you guys not smelling what I'm smelling right now. Oh, I always... <laughs> Pizza. I always tell this story. The very first time I met Jessica at a convention, I lent her a pair of socks, and at the end of the weekend, I threw them away. <laughs> I'm finding my perfume now because I'm really insecure. I need to hurt you now, too. Next She's question. better. No, I haven't. All right, next question. Here. Question, 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 question. I was just curious, as uh, professional cosplayers, uh, how much time you actually get free time for not cosplay things. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys have Never. lives outside of cosplay? Uh, well, I'm a full-time student, so I have to make the time for not cosplay. Uh, so usually my routine when I'm in school is the weekends I run home and I make costumes, and then during the weeks I run back to school and I do that. So like for my Demon Hunter, for about a month or so, that's what I did, of running back and forth and working. It's not fun. Yeah, I don't know about you guys though. Oh, um, no, it's it's in, it's it's almost impossible for me. To, thank you. Now you don't smell my feet. Um, it's almost impossible for me to like find like time to do regular stuff. But when I do, it's usually just playing games or running. So that's alright. Uh, I know. I I work like a, I work for a comic book artist and uh, do the squirrel thing. And uh, I I don't know. I procrastinate. I probably don't devote as much time to costuming as I should because I get distracted and I don't want to get burnt out and it's still my hobby and I love it but sometimes you just have to like walk Take away. You know, like I was telling somebody I've done like five mock-ups for Squirrel Girl just because there's over 40 panels on the bodysuit and so sometimes you're just like <laughs> and you're just like I need to go play a video game or I need to go like stab something in Diablo or something. Always. Yeah. yeah. I do cake decorating during the day, oh. on and off. She has this amazing awesome. cake I do. They're in my room. Cupcake parties ready again. Yes. Are we doing that? Oh, okay. Good. So I do, uh, I do cake decorating and I lately have not had a lot of time to work on costumes. Right now I'm averaging about three shows a month. Um, which is fun. I love it, but it gives me no time to create. And it burns I love you out too. creating. Yes, yeah. we were just talking about that. Yeah, no, it's. I think. I think it's like when you do finally get the chance to like make something. It's so therapeutic. Oh, yeah. You just absolutely. like so in pain, and you're just like I'm in my element. But it's weird because it's like it's such like a. You're, it's such a loner hobby when you're alone because you're just listening it's to music true. or watching a show, and then suddenly you do yeah. like a complete 180, and that's like everybody's around. Yeah, yeah. Yes. maybe that's well, why. Even when we, like, me and Jess Skype and we work on costumes, there'll be periods where we just don't talk, we just work, but like we're on the same screen, it's kind of creepy. Yeah, well, because then like my, my video will go out and you're like, where'd you go? I was like, you weren't talking to me for like two <laughs> hours, why do you care why I went? Just watch me die, Mom. Just need you here with me. The sweet sound of sewing machines. <laughs> right here. Okay, one last question. Last question? Says who? Sorry, you can probably do one more. It's Ivy's in charge here. We have three minutes. Okay. Do you wear yes. your costumes more than once, and how do you decide what you're going to do at each convention? Uh, if possible, I like to wear them more than once, because mm. you spend all that time and money yeah. on it. It'd be such a waste to wear it once, but sometimes they're ones you can't bring certain places because they're too big, or yeah. something broke and you're too lazy to fix it. Um, so. <laughs> Or we want to be lazy sometimes and just be really, really comfortable, and we'll do Velma cosplays yeah. all together. Megacon was Velma Con. Yes, it was awesome. The ones you wear the I most often are the 
the easiest, comfiest ones. <laughs> yeah, and like a lot of times, like if you think about it, you'll see us in costume online. It's like a really complex costume. But then we, for me, I have to take new account. I'm going to be talking to people signing. and doing prints mm -hmm. and leaning over and signing and walking around. And like I did a, a convention recently as the Huntress, and I was like, this was a huge mistake. Like I made the costume before I ever started doing stuff like that. And I'd rather be comfortable and not be like in pain when I meet you guys. <laughs> I'd rather not. <laughs> Hello, I'm Riddle. <laughs> so, Wait, I mean, or then sometimes we try to coordinate. Like, you know, they did the monster, sexy monster thing. Sexy We're doing Canada. Sailor Moon. You know, like it's for me. I love costuming with my friends. So. Cake. <laughs> Sorry. Only because I'm friends with you. Chris. <laughs> Chris I, I love community. But yeah, no, yeah. yeah. How, I mean, how do you guys yeah. pick your costumes? Com yeah, just comfort. Um, usually I'll do like an easy one for the con, but then Cosmo I'll do like badass good. ones when I don't have to sign yeah. or anything. Then I'm just like, ah, let me have swords. Yeah. If I'm at a show, like a three-day con, I'll try to bring one that has okay. armor. Yeah. <laughs> Something, you know, and then Sundays is usually my easier day. Something mm -hmm. a little more relaxed. Um, if it's a show that they center around kids stuff on that Sunday, I try to be more family friendly with my costume that particular day. Okay. Um, something that kids can easily recognize, usually. Um, yeah, usually debut the new stuff on a Saturday. Yeah, Saturday's a always con. a big day. Saturday's con. a big day. <sighs> okay. We have time for one more. <laughs> Martin is doing this. The movement. baby's got a question. Oh, All right, baby. Uh, the baby. When, uh, what's your guys' best Comic Con and why? Best Comic Con. Or best convention. You better say Big Wow. Yeah, right now. Best. Right now is the best. I'm sorry. Uh, Good and, job. And, and, and that's me blinking at you twice. Yeah. <laughs> My soul belongs to Dragon Con forever and ever. Dragon Con is pretty yep. epic. What about so, you? Ooh, okay. I, you have big wow, but. <laughs> big wow, yes. But. New York Comic Con just blew my mind last year, and holy crap, yes, it was amazing. That one and C2E2 this year were phenomenal. So, yes, New York and Chicago both have my heart. Sorry, California. I'm making a new con. It's called Negri Con. I mean, it's in my room if you guys want to join. Yeah. <laughs> Beware, it'll smell like farts. Uh, <laughs> oh, really? Like, Here's your bean and cheese burritos. There are the video games. Please remove your shoes. We're good to go. <laughs> Everyone wear crop tops. <laughs> Time. Right. Thank you. We have another panel at Four to five, here's a cosplay. Oh, four to five, here's a cosplay. You also have yes. cosplay 101. Uh, at two o'clock, we have cosplay 101 in room E. Which is right now. And then at three o'clock, we have a panel called So They Say You Shouldn't Cosplay, which is on body image, race, all of that good stuff, and why you should still cosplay, regardless of the beat. Three o'clock, room E. Four o'clock, we have a Heroes of Cosplay panel in this room. This room. Do you guys like the panel? Yeah! Yeah! yeah. Uh, Negri Con 2015, I'll put it up. You guys can come over to my house, hang out with my dad. He's top 1% of World of Tanks. <laughs> wow. I know, isn't that impressive? My dad is cool. <laughs> and if you have any like more personal questions, we are at the booths. Uh, C1, C4, C5. Ivy's at table 501. Thanks.